In Brooklyn, New York, lies the historic neighborhood of Cobble Hill, a hip, thriving area and home to Sal's Pizzeria, run by John Esposito. My parents came here from Italy, and they took over this pizzeria in 1970. And at the age of 14, uh, I left high school to help my mom and dad run the business. This has become my life ever since. Hello, Sal, how can I help you? We ran the place very successfully. Thank you. By the 90s, we were able to purchase the restaurant next door. Hello, how are we doing? Welcome to Maria's. Thank you. My mom became sick. She got diagnosed with cancer. And we thought the right thing to do was to name the room after my mom. That's why you have Sal's Pizza and Mama Maria's. His father passed away, his mom passed away. He was the only one in charge of everything. And as the years passed, it started to go down. We don't have that kind of volume of sales that we once had, Then I can't figure out the reason why it dropped off. Where's the people? I've stayed the same. I haven't changed. They weren't a fan of the Eggman. I don't know what they're doing over there. John, as the owner, is supposed to be in charge of this whole place, including the kitchen. But he's usually up front making pizzas covered in, in flour. It's a nightmare, right? It is a fucking nightmare. The pizzeria and a restaurant are two different animals. That's like the accountant that thought it'd be cool to open a wine bar. Stop paying attention over here for a minute. Get in the kitchen. Really look at what's going on. John treats this place like his second home. He's got four kids that are always here running around the restaurant. It doesn't really look good for the restaurant. John is an extremely stubborn owner. All right, so this is the way we're going to set up the table. Listen, hold your rolls and tell me down here. It's my restaurant. In his mind, the system has worked, but it really stopped working like 20 years ago. Cobble Hill used to be a very old school Italian neighborhood, but now we have much, much younger people moving in. Uh, a lot of people like to call them hipsters. Hey, sorry, uh, spaghetti doesn't taste quite right. I don't know what to tell you. It's a fresh tomato sauce. Throw this up. Am I going to put on plastic glasses, get a funky haircut, put an earring in my ear just to accommodate the new people? I'm not going to do that. How about things on this side? Not uh, bad. Horrible. Really? Yeah. John is holding on to the past and to the way things were done when his parents ran the business. We didn't do anything tonight. We didn't even do a quarter of what we used to do. Any businessman would have said, enough's enough, pull the plug. But how do you pull the plug on family history? Pretty tough. Yeah. We gotta do something to boost these checks. This place, it's mom and dad. Losing one's like losing a parent again. They're not prepared to handle that. Mama Maria's. What is that? That is ghastly. Holes everywhere. That is not a good sign. Damn. My goodness me. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? First name is? Fabio. Yeah, good to see you. I'm right. the manager here. That outside looks like an eyesore. Mm -hmm. Whose idea was that? The owner, he actually cut the letters out. Why? I guess because it was tearing and he just completed the whole thing. And the owner is? John. And he is where? Next door. He's responsible for, like, the pizzeria. So, two restaurants? Right. Mama Maria's I'm standing in. Right, and then there's Charles Pizzeria next door. Um, Right, I'm gonna go meet the owner. Okay. Uh, thank you. No problem. Wow. So Sal's Pizzeria. John, there he's there. How are you? Very well, thank you. How are you? Good, thank you. Excellent. So, are you filling in today? Someone phoning sick? N I pretty Peter much make, is make he sick? the pizzas. Yeah, I always work the front of the counter. Oh, so you're pizzas. behind there constant? Yeah. Wow. How long have you been making pizzas? Since I'm um, ten years old. That's incredible. I got confused with that. Hideous canopy outside. Was that you who cut holes in the canopy? Uh, actually, the wind did that. The wind did that? Yeah. Anyway, come around. Let's have a, a catch up. OK, first of all, give me a little insight, the history. My mom and dad had a pizzeria, and my father and my mother did all the cooking in the back. Sure. By the 90s, my mom got sick. She came down with cancer. She passed first. I'm sorry, he's no longer with me. Wow. So that's why it has two different right. names. Mom and dad, Sal and Maria. Right. Combined restaurants, what is the number one problem here? We're not busy. You're not busy? Uh, there's more competition in the neighborhood, and uh, we're struggling. We're struggling to keep the doors open. It's a hard pill to swallow. Yeah, I can see that. Um, I'd like to 
piece and find out what's going on here. It's very uncomfortable for me to sit here right now and ask for help. Thank you. I'm not feeling who I am. I feel weak. Oh, hello. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? And this is? Lori. Lori, nice to see nice you. Nice to meet you. What do you do? I'm a waitress. Excellent. What's wrong with the restaurant? Um, lack of leadership. Uh, John's a little frantic, chaotic, um, usually very busy in the pizzeria. John has been here forever. So you would think John would know how to run this place, but he doesn't want to change anything because this is what his parents knew before they passed away. Homemade pastas. Pasta made daily on the premises. All the pastas made fresh on a daily basis. Yep. OK, um, start off with the tortellini patata. OK. I've got to try the spaghetti meatballs. Spaghetti meatballs. Margarita, please. OK. Thank you. Wow. Mangalea Reganata, second course. You got the tortellini patate. The food is not good here, but it's not my food. I'm serving it the same way we always serve it. Oh, boy. I think the chef Ramsey's going to have a heart attack when he sees what goes on around here. Oh, my god. Oh, hello. Hi, how are you? I'm very healthy. How are you? Good. I'm Fran. Nice to meet you. Fran, nice to see you, darling. What'd you do? I oh, just showed the desserts. Oh, OK. Let's, let's have a look. Show sure. me. Wow. So they showcase the desserts. Mm. So this is our desserts. Everything's made here fresh on premise. Right. So, jeez. Uh, what is that? It's butter. It's, oh, it's butter? Yeah, just to display Ooh. as the ice cream. And that, uh, that mold on there, you show that? No, the butter's on top, so it covers that. And that bit there? Yeah. And Fabio, you're the general manager, right? So you've got no idea of this. We're presenting those moldy bits of shit. And it's stuck with butter on top. Now, That's those what? are just for display. Hold on, hold on. For... Because they're for display, you've got the right to cake them in mold and serve customers a display that's full of mold. So are we supposed to, like, put a fresh one every day so we can throw it out? Are you kidding me? What do you think? I think that, you know, as long as it's, I mean, it's fresh, it's good. I mean, are but you, I wouldn't, but I wouldn't. Are you, I mean, have you lost the plot? No, I haven't. No. It's changed yeah, colors it's... four times, and it absolutely reeks. All I'm saying is that this is for display. We're not serving it. So do the customers deserve a display that's full of shit? Oh, my God, he's ripping into him. He's ripping into him, man. Look at this mess. Oh, my God. That, it must be two months old. It's probably a few days old. A few days? Uh, we don't serve it. It's for presentation. I'm aware you're not serving it. Thank fuck, Gold Star. Congratulations on that one. That's, uh, that's a big breakthrough with you. That's why you're here. Excuse me? That's why you're here. I'm here to tell you that that's shit, and you no. shouldn't be presenting it. No, you I'm don't know the difference between mold and fresh? It's for presentation only. Give me two seconds. I need to clean my hands. I'm caked in mold. I've got disgusting butter, and I've got fucking hands full of pus. Oh, my god. Oh, Christ almighty. You got Tylenol or codeine? No. <laughs> He's gonna come throw it at us. I'd rather him throw it at us than me serve it to him. The patata? Thank you. You're welcome. I don't know. It's bland. I mean, really bland. And visually, it looks like someone's just eating that whole dessert tray, and it shot out twice as quick as it went in. Laurie, it's just bland. I mean, really bland. I'll let them know. And this is frozen because there's a grainy potato flavor inside that. I don't think anything's frozen here. Yeah, so the tortellini aren't frozen. I'll double check. Thank you, though. Uh oh. He said it was very, very bland. He asked if the, um, the tortellini were frozen. I wasn't sure if they were frozen or not. He's right. All our pasta is fresh frozen. That's the most mind-boggling thing in this place. We make everything and then freeze it. Chef, the tortellinis are frozen. Oh, they are frozen? They are. So you advertise you're making it daily, but you freeze it daily. Something's wrong big time. Thank you, though. Wow. They said the tortellini is frozen. I, I, I can't, I didn't even know this shit. Me either, I thought everything was like fresh. It makes no sense. What, to make it fresh and then freeze it? And then freeze it. It makes no sense. Does anyone clean here? Fabio, how often is this place cleaned? I have no idea. You've got no idea when this place was last cleaned? They don't have a cleaning crew. All these? I'm not sure. I'll have to ask John. What's that smell in here? <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> That's the smell. 
Oh my god. What in the fuck? Damn. It was a little bit of a payback because he just finished tearing me apart. I thought that was a little bit of karma. Did I get you? Yeah. Where in the fuck did all that come from? You over flooded it. Who watered the plants this morning? John? Yeah. They're full of water. Somebody watered the plants. Someone's doing a great job at watering plants but not changing desserts. Man! Wow. Now I'll pay for any dry cleaning, right? OK? Fuck me. The spaghetti and meatballs. I would say enjoy, but I know better. Spaghetti and meatballs? Spaghetti and meatballs. Um, fresh meatballs or frozen? Frozen. Oh, come on. Everything is frozen? Look at that now inside, how rubbery it looks, even before tasting it. Man, look at that, how dry that is. The dry, disgusting, frozen meatballs. Uh oh. Meatballs are frozen, rubbery, and dry. He's right. Okay. Every product we use in here is frozen. When I first started here, we cut up a leg of veal, and I'm still waiting to use it. And here's your pizza. For a margarita pizza, it's very greasy. Yeah, got oil slicks in here. Doesn't like the pizza either. It's too greasy. That's just full of grease. Laurie, the pizza's grease is anything. But what concerns me is John's behind the bar, all this shit food's coming out, and I want him to taste what he's sending me, because I'm a little bit miffed to why I'm here, if no one's caring. OK. Please? Sure. Wow. He said the pizza is greasy and that you should be tasting everything that before it gets sent out to him. Bullshit. I've had enough. Oh, boy. Enough. I've had enough. I've had enough. I've had enough. After being disappointed by bland frozen food and greasy pizza at Brooklyn's Mama Maria's, a joke. Chef Ramsay heads to the kitchen looking for an explanation. I don't want to talk to this guy when he comes in here. Come on, everybody outside. Uh, introduce me to who's who. This is Joe. Joe. This is Oscar. Hello. How are you? Hi, how are you? Come through. Valentino. Hello, sir. Valentino, how Very are you? Good to meet you. Likewise, good to see you too. Um, I don't know where to start. I've just had one of the most disgusting lunches I've ever had. I stopped a dessert tray full of mouldy desserts and the tortellini, grainy, bland, and the potato was just dreadful. The meatballs, frozen, dry, solid. Yes, they're disgusting. I don't eat them. But you can't make meatballs every day. You get 20 pounds of chopped meat, you make the meatballs, and you freeze the rest. Do you know how long it takes to make five pounds of meatballs? 10 minutes. It's what we've done all our lifetime. I haven't just started this yesterday. The meatballs are always done. You get away with it, 1967. It's 2012, John. Does anyone have standards here? We're not in control of the menu. Whose menu is this? It's my menu. I'm embarrassed to do some of the things that we do here. Are you kidding me? We make pasta fresh and we freeze it. Like, are you crazy? But why are you doing it? I don't have a choice. Who's stopping you? The menu. My menu. Why don't you listen to this man? He's spoken more sense in the last five minutes than anybody has since I've been here. Do you listen to your staff? They're not paying my bills. I'm the guy paying the bills. Oh, because you make the pizza, and so they can't have a voice. You should be nowhere near this business. I don't agree with you. I think we should close the doors. I don't think this man actually gives a shit. No, I didn't, I didn't call you can, can because I, I want to put the key to the door. I, if I need you to tell me to put the key to the door, sure. I would have done that without you okay. coming in. It worked before. Why can't it work now? But you're running on nostalgia. It stood still. And yet, outside these four walls, the whole neighborhood has overtaken you. You're in love with the memories, John. I don't know what to say. Thank you for your honesty. I need a shower. I fucking stink of plant juice. I'm not going to close the doors just because he said he said so. I don't agree with him. 100% game on, all right?
Within a short time of his arrival, Chef Ramsay has discovered that the staff may actually know more than the owner. What are we supposed to do? So we didn't fucking make these recipes. And now he's eager to see how the team functions in a dinner service. Oh my god. Hello, how are we doing? Welcome to Marley's. Second course, Papa Del tomato sauce. Our boxes, pizza boxes, grande before, rapido. What's going on down here? Hello. Business running as normal, John. Yes, this is. Yes. Yeah. If I wasn't here, you'd be doing exactly the same. Exactly the same. No difference. You're going to leave. Give me that portobello clam. I need that first. So that's what John would normally do, just all night on the pizzas out there. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't come in here. He just stays out there all night. He's afraid. I think he's afraid of the kitchen. He's afraid of the I kitchen? I think so, sir. He owns the place. I know. It's crazy. Well, I mean, it's insane. As John seems content to pound away at the pizza oven, margarita sauce, margarita. The kitchen, led by Joe, is pushing out food at a steady pace. Pick it up. Here is your pasta. But that doesn't mean the fast arriving food is pleasing the customers. How's everything? Um, the shells are like frozen. Okay. It looked like it's freezer burned. All I got was rosemary. All I taste is rosemary. I don't taste any of the sauce. Or I found a bone in my sauce. What's that? A bone. A bone. A bone. I'm a vegetarian. Losing the sauce. Joe, two seconds. There's a bone in a rigatini, and she's vegetarian. And the tomato sauce, they put pork bones in it. What the fuck? She's vegetarian. That's how we do it every day. John is responsible for the methods that we use to produce the food. Get me John, urgently. And he says, if you don't like it, leave. John, this, this is urgent now. A lady has just found a pork bone in the rigatini. We use it to give the sauce over. We always, always add it. Sausage, So you're serving pork bones in the sauce to a vegetarian. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's how we prepare food for the last 40 years, and I don't see it being a problem. A pork sauce to a fucking vegetarian? It's the way we've always done our business. But you can't serve a vegetarian a pork sauce. Um, what the fuck is going on here? I don't know what, what. Had fucking enough. Had enough. Had fucking enough. Do you want me to order you a coffee? Will that make it better? Are you okay? Because I can't hear you. Are you waiting for the uh, bathroom, honey? No, um, my friend got sick. Is he vegetarian? No. No. What did he have? The lobster tail. Okay. And the lobster, he said, tasted um, funny. And the next thing I knew, he was sick. Okay. John, you're too sick? Yeah. The gentleman will be sick of the box, right? Yeah. He had lobster, I had the mushroom, and then... Would you like a medical assistance? Would you like for me to call 911? Jerry, pass me a lobster tail, please. I need one lobster tail. It's tough, right? Why well, you guys thrown up? He's in the bathroom and he's sick. Please show me exactly what you served that customer. Yeah? Please. Thank you. Fucking hell. You all right? OK. Yo. Chef, your lobster's ready. John, come here, you. you smell it. Seriously, it's fishy. I can smell the ammonia. Yeah, you smell that? And that's what that man has just eaten. That's so... ammonia. That's what releases. When the body starts to decompose, yeah. it's been pulled apart and then decomposed. That's what makes it bad. Joe, just clarify something for me. We could possibly kill them. Kill someone. And whilst we're discussing this, and there's a man vomiting in the toilet now. I can't believe this is happening right now. Feels like shit to know that you got somebody sick. And it's the first time you've got your head out the dough. But it's John's responsibility no matter what, because John buys all the product that we use. Yeah, please. Should we call an ambulance? Yeah. Uh, it does not look well. Call an ambulance. Hi, this is Sal's Pizzeria. I need an ambulance. The customer's not feeling well. Your face is really flushed. Oh, my God. My worst fear is for anybody to get sick in my restaurant. Where's a shot of something? I need a shot. I need a shot of something. I got a guy vomiting. Give me something. Give me quick. Vodka, vodka. Somebody came to your house, and you cooked them a dinner. 
How would you feel if you started puking all over the place? A guy had some lobster, and he has a reaction to it. The gentleman sit down. Oh, my God. So we just saw an ambulance come out? Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Needs to kill the cameras. Kill the cameras. It's dinner service at Mama Maria's. You all right? OK. Go. One of the diners is feeling ill after eating a questionable lobster. Smart. Seriously, fishy. And that's what that man's just eaten. And the paramedics have just arrived on the scene. A guy had some lobster, and he has a reaction to it. The gentleman's sitting down. It's terrible for anybody to get sick on anything that you serve. You, you, I want to stop everything. Just close the fucking plate down now. OK, so whatever's been served has been served. I do not Shut want to serve. I do not want to serve anything else. Joe, Shut it down. Come, come. Yeah. All the fucking vegetarians, now this. I've had it. Just stop. Everybody stop, OK? Nothing else leaves this kitchen unless it's going in a garbage bag. OK, so when I shut it down, I just kick everybody out. Just apologize. Out. No check. Deeply sorry. And we have a, an issue that I have to deal with. My apologies. OK. We need to close, go to the tables, tell everybody they need to go. No checks, just go. OK? Close okay. them. So sorry, but we're going to close the restaurant down, too. So should we not eat this? Yes, don't eat it. Just yeah, don't, don't eat it. Just, eat it. We're shutting okay. down. We are shutting down. I'm sorry. Am I going to get sick from the appetizer we eat? Is no, that, no, is it that kind no. Of thing? Just they're not going to serve anything else. It's embarrassing to have paramedics walk into your restaurant and to have to shut down your restaurant because of that. Should we take his contact information or any kind of information like that? John, can I have a word? Yeah. Outside. <clears throat> John, tonight was beyond a disaster. Oh, I never expected this. Never in my wildest dreams. It's all humiliation. But it's not just bad food, John. It's bad practices that mean you're so detached from your business. You don't look like an owner. You don't sound like an owner. You're like a member of staff back there. Uh, you, you're right. But why? I don't know why. I don't know why. I just because I think I've been beat up too much. There's got to be some fight inside. There's got to be some. Listen, I am a fighter. I've been a fighter my entire life. I was thrown into this place because they needed to. They needed a, a, a horse, a donkey to run the place because they couldn't afford to hire people. They sacrificed my education and throw me in here. But you've given up. Come on. You're destroying yourself. Listen. Help me change. I will help you, but you have to understand. You cannot be a member of staff pounding dough. That's not right. You shouldn't be doing that. I do it because I love my family. and I want to provide for them the best way I know how. Do you think they get enjoyment watching you kill yourself in there? John, come on. You have to take a big, long step back and stop running this place from a fucking pizza oven. No. <clears throat> I, I can't. I mean, no, emotionally, I can't. Why? I need to take a break. Oh, yeah, I want you to get some rest. Okay, hey, well, sorry, that cost you No, no, no. Listen, you're an owner. Hey, I can see the pain. I feel it. Let me tell you. I've got four kids of my own, and I know how hard it is. But I'm here for you. And I want you to win. Understand that. Man to man. I'm telling you. I want you to win. But you've got to listen. OK? We can do this, right? You I do want not. to do it. Good. Have fun with start. Have fun with my okay. kids. Let's do it for them. OK? See you in the morning. Chef Ramsay may have pledged his help to John, but he needs to get a handle on everything before he can implement changes. So early this morning, 
he does a little research. Who is this? Bloody hell. Time to see how much frozen food there really is. Oh, God. This. Bloody hell, fettuccine. Penne. They said they had frozen food, but I certainly wasn't aware there was this much. Oh, my God. It just goes on. Endless. How much pasta's in here? Look at the colours. It's frozen badly. No date, no name. Look at it. Oh, you're kidding me. What is that? Sausage skin. I mean, honestly, look at this. Buckets of them. What's that? That's just out of two freezers. And look, there's more freezers down there. Oh, my God. You are kidding me. Chicken, freezer burnt. Oh, man, look at this. This must be five years old, this stuff. It's ruined. You can't cook that. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. This is a joke. Look at that. Oh, come on. Meatballs. This is ridiculous. They're frozen molded. What's that? Oh, God. There's no labels. Another freezer. Frozen vegetables, frozen pasta. My God. I don't even know what it is. An ice cream container. Some are filled with pasta shells. Look at this stuff. Freezing tiramisu. You are kidding me. Oh, that's egg glass. How many portions of food is here? Well, it's just endless. Horrified by the amount of frozen food. Wow. Chef Ramsay is determined to give John and his staff... Unbelievable. ...a much-needed wake-up call. How are you today? Good. Shit day yesterday. Yeah. I've just spoken to Charles, the diner from last night. He got checked out this morning at the hospital. Totally fine, OK? Big breath of fresh air there, let me tell you. Yeah, I was yeah. really no, nervous. No, we okay? all were. We all were. Today, we start fresh. Fortunately, we are still a little frozen in the past. Come with me. Oh, boy. Let's go. Let me show you something. Come in. Wow. What the fuck is this? That's our menu. What do you think it is? This is our store. John, I've never, ever encountered anything like this in my entire cooking career. Ever. Never. If we had to not touch anything else in this kitchen and cook what we've got, you'd be open for the next 12 months and still not run out. Oh, my God. Wow. Come on. We have 40 stacks. That's like 400 pounds of chicken. Kentucky Fried Chicken probably doesn't have that much chicken on hand. John, do you have any idea that this is going on? Yes. It is. It's, it's amazing when you look at it. But I knew it was going on. Look at the meatballs. Freaking turn color. Hey, don't throw it at me. Come on, guys. There's more, Joe. I know. There's more downstairs. There's more. It, it pains me. You're right. There's no, there's no way around it. This is my, this is my fault. It's a sad truth. It is. It lies with me. This is my fault. I let this get out of, out of my grasp. Past glory, we used to do 10 cases of chicken in two weeks. I'm still buying like we were busy at that, at that level, and we're not. The restaurant is struggling as it is, but you're losing money twice as fast. Try to change something that's no. Is that true? He's trying to change, you're saying no? Yes. There's resistance to change. Yes. So that's another of my big problem. Yes. Like I told I you. I mean, look at this. How long do you think those have been special? When's this from? I, I, I listen. I'm just it's asking. Not as, how, how long has that been yeah. here? Since my parents died. I don't want to take it down. No, I, I don't push the specials. It's just something, a memory so to the, me. The, but that's the really important issue, and you mustn't take this personally. You're still treating this business as if mum and dad are here. We have to let go. Throw it out. It's holding me onto the pants. But throw it out. No, I'm not asking to throw that out. No. Take it home. Take it home. No, John, I don't want to get upset, but you've got to understand. You've got to let go of the past. OK? Yep. Guys, get the shit out of here. John, let's go. I am here to help you. 
but I can just see the pressure. I can feel no, it's not the frustration. Me. I, don't, I don't want to be here no more. Not that I don't want to be here. I don't want to be in this position no more. It's just sad. Just being here every day, working seven days a week. I don't know if I told you. I wasn't educated. My mom and dad threw me in here. I would come home from school, not to eat lunch, to serve lunch. How old? I was a kid, eight, 10. And this has been my life ever since. It's just sad to sit here every day, knowing what we used to do, and not be able to do what I used to do anymore. It's just, you're holding on to the wrong things. And I think deep down inside, you're just running scared. I don't want to be scared of I want to fight my wife. I sent my kids to camp. They were so happy that you were coming. My third child said to me, Daddy, Ramsey is going to fix everything. Can we get to spend more time together? Hey, you will. But you have got to let go of the past. It's your turn now. I am here to help you. Do you understand? But there's on one condition. You step away from that pizza day. I want a commitment that you're will, not going to jump will. behind there on the safety net. It's going to be hard. I just want a commitment from you that you're going to get your head out the dough. Yes, I will. Yes. Yeah? I yes. want to start making it, not pounding it. All right. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Can you hear what's going on out there? I hear it. I That's hear for it. a reason. I hope they're listening. It's going to be extremely hard not to fall back into your old habits, but I'm ready to, to from today on, change my ways and move forward and not let that ever happen again. Chef Ramsay clearly feels for this owner and is now ready to reveal the first important change. First of all, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Where are you? We hear you, but I don't see you. Don't worry about that. We are relaunching Mama Maria's. Excited? Yay. Yeah. Good. Remove your blindfolds. Oh, my god. Oh, wow. Oh, that awning's gone. That's yeah, right. Totally the awning gone. has gone. Let me welcome you to the new sign. Mama Maria's. When I first arrived here, I saw a disgusting awning. Letters cut out, just hideous. This now is your first statement. It says a lot, first impressions. Let me tell you. Oh, yeah. I like it. It looks minor. I've made some minor changes inside. Minor. Trust me, when you walk through those doors, I think you're going to crap yourself. Let's go in. Come in. Please. Oh, wow. Holy crap. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, my god. Oh, this my is totally god. different. First of all, welcome to the new, bright, vibrant Mama Maria's. And my goodness. Does it scream Brooklyn? Oh, wow. Totally different. Oh. When I first came in here, it was resembling a restaurant that hadn't been touched in years. It was dark, it was grimy, and it had no life. We've got stunning turquoise walls that gives that nice, vibrant pop. The custom artwork done by a very talented artist painting the beautiful, historic Brooklyn Bridge above your fireplace. I like that. I think this is what Brooklyn wants and needs. We got rid of all the clutter that John just was holding on to. We have on the wall your parents in full-blown, stunning photographs, which is an amazing memory to hold on to. Oh, have a look at the uh, paper. It's your mom. Oh. <laughs> you didn't see that. No. <laughs> That's me serving the dog. I didn't notice the pictures. Never forget this day moving forward, a new beginning in the history of the stunning family-run Mama Maria's, let me tell you. This is my family. This is me. It was here in front of my eyes. I didn't see it. It's amazing. It's changing from old to new without letting go of the past. The past is still here with us. And I got a new lease on life. Chef Ramsay's remodel of the restaurant is only part of his master plan. Come through, please. The overhaul of the menu is the real key to turning this Brooklyn eatery around. First of all, just take a look at the vibrancy. Looks great. Fresh. Yeah, that's yeah. what I want too. That's what I need. Right, menu. Starting off with a delicious bruschetta. It's done with a really nice chopped up mozzarella served with marinated tomatoes. Earthy, rustic, and charming. Brilliant and fresh. The mussels are just incredible. A great little appetizer to get the palate, the juices flowing. The specialities of the house, the pizzas. Margarita, stunning, simple, delicious. You hit it on the head. Next to that, you've got the ozabuco, served in its cooking juices over mashed potato, gremolata, and a really nice, rich demi glace. I'm hungry. <laughs> You're hungry. That's a great sign. <laughs> Boss, John, what do you think? 
I'm excited. You're uh, excited? Yeah. Here's the scenario. We have some very, very influential journalists and bloggers coming in. Everybody on their game. Yes, sir. Yes. One more thing that he's a little sprucing up. Got this for you especially. Nice. Hey. Beautiful <laughs> shirt. After 40 years, I'm going to take my colours off. That's right, because you're no longer a pizza boy. You are the owner. If I catch your head inside that pizza oven, I'll put it in permanently. <laughs> <laughs> and as I look at you now, right over your shoulder, I see your father looking down. Look at him. Look. That's right. And you are going to run this business just like they did when they brought you into this world. You got it. It's relaunch night. We've got some big hitters in tonight, yeah. And Chef Ramsay is determined to let everyone know that Mama Maria's is the new cool place to dine in Brooklyn. First off, Eat in Brooklyn, blogging website, dynamic. Blackboard Eats, blog. Great. Awesome. Right. We're going to impress them. Eat to blog are also joining us, followed by the New York Observer. Big one. Absolutely big one. Getting nervous. You have got a powerhouse full of critics. Look how smart you are. Wow. Turn around, give us a spin. Whee! Amazing, amazing, amazing. Let's go. Welcome to Mama Maria's. This is our brand new menu. Welcome to Mama Maria's, our relaunch, and I'm very proud of what we're doing now. Hi, that two tops come here, just recognize them. New York Observer, the guy with the notepad. Oh, okay. He's the man. 2.4 million readers. Don't tell me who they are, because I'll get nervous. No, I've just told you. You yeah. need to know who they are. Let's go, you can do it. It's tough taking on this new role. You know, it, it's not my makeup. I'll grab them. Okay. Two? Yeah. Right. I need to step away from that pizza counter and be more hands-on to make sure everybody's doing their job and doing it correctly. Table four, New York Observer. Yes. Okay. Okay, listen up. First course, minestrone and a Caesar. You got it. I need this risotto cavatelli, please. 30 seconds in the window. Good. While John may be in the unfamiliar role of leading his staff... How we're doing over here is the pizza's all done. There's another one coming. Mama Maria is off to a good start. Pick up lasagna, gnocchi, spaghetti meatballs. And customers are thoroughly enjoying the food. The gnocchi's delicious. I think the sauce is spot on delicious. But while Chef Joe continues to push dishes out in a timely manner... Muscles in the window, bruschetta in the window, let's go. It was a typical southern Italian red sauce joint, yeah. John seems to have forgotten that he is still needed in his new role as leader. I'm so hungry. Yeah, I'm really hungry. Yeah. Table four in the window, let's go. It's a blogger's table, guys. Let's go, rapido. It's very frustrating when I see dishes not leaving the window. There's no time for mistakes. I ain't got time for this. Where is John? Let's go. Give me John. Let me get him. Are you serious right now? Son of a bitch. There's a guy walking around here with a white jacket, blonde hair. Oh, for fuck's sake. John. Yes, sir. So you can't just favor two guys at the bar. You've got to be everywhere. Right, right. In and out. We're yeah. in the middle of service. I'm not letting you sink the dining room. No. This place no. is full of some of the most influential, I, 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 influential bloggers. I hear you. Step up. Period. I tried, End of story. I tried. We have to encourage. Don't stop. You cannot stop. We're going to communicate with our team. Still got VIP tables out there. OK, the stuff is right I'll over take here. It out, Tom. I'll take it out, Tom. OK, beautiful. Let's not drop our heads. Let's bounce back, OK? Here you go, guys. Thank you. Oh, I'm so happy. Sorry about this service. We're trying our best. We're trying to keep up, and we're trying to do whatever we can. This is the first time John was acting like the owner he is tonight. You're doing great. You're doing great. All right. Keep it up. And that's exactly what Mama Maria needs. This looks awesome. It smells yum. She's delicious. Let me know when that margarita is ready, please. I need that margarita. So, guys, how did everything go? The spaghetti and meatballs were They're delicious. Really awesome. Absolutely totally spectacular. Awesome. Thank you. Well, cheers to pizza. Congratulations. We'll definitely be coming here again. Great job. Well Thank done. You. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Good night, guys. John. Listen, you are one hard-working, honest guy. Thank you. I feel I was living in a shell. I'm coming out of that shell. Kiss. That shell is broken. Kiss. And I've got to be honest with you. You hit it, man. You hit it right on the head. Here's my memories. Mom and Dad are here. Yeah, they're here. They're still and here. so they are looking down. And they, right now, are proud. You no, have got proud. the door open. Thank Grab you. it. Just go forward. Don't I go will. backwards. No, no, no. I'm not going backwards. I refuse to go backwards. Kiss. One thing I remember my father was his leadership, and that's what I'm going to continue doing. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself. I know what I need to do. And there's more to come of Mama Maria's in the future.
For the last 55 years, this restaurant has belonged to John's parents. And even after they sadly passed away, he remained a pizza maker. But tonight, he was an owner. This restaurant now belongs to John and John only. And I'm truly, and I mean truly rooting for this Brooklyn underdog. How much water can be put in one plant pot? Ah, shit. God bless pizzas. After Chef Ramsay left... Welcome to Mama Maria. John has kept his promise of running his business away from the pizza counter. I need a bowl of grated cheese, please. A bowl of grated cheese. Mama Maria's has already generated a ton of positive buzz from bloggers and websites. It's really good. Thank you. I hope from Chef Ramsay we've come a long way. And this 55-year-old restaurant is on its way back to being a fixture in Brooklyn once again.